And we welcome Lightning head coach John Cooper here on The Drop, who I think is not in Nashville at the moment. Where are we, sir? Um, well, where I am is probably different than most of the guys are, but I'm a little place called Anna Marie Island. Uh, it's a little secret, which is probably not a secret now after this, but a uh, beautiful place about an hour away from Tampa. Uh, great getaway place and uh, just you can drive one hour away and feel like you're a thousand miles away so it's a beautiful spot it doesn't look like it right now but if i did if i did that yes then, uh, then it looks okay yeah i was just gonna say the roof is wonderful but yeah. uh thank you for that <laughs> uh, view exactly hey um so we'll get to the game in a second but Let's talk about the last couple years for the Lightning. I mean, we are in a situation where we haven't seen a team possibly three-peat as a Stanley Cup champion since the Islanders' dynasty. I mean, did you ever think, coming in as a coach in the NHL, that you would even be in a situation to be able to three-peat for a Stanley Cup? Well, I'll tell you, after uh, 2019, I was a little skeptical, I'll tell you that. Um, it's to, to be in the position we're in, it takes a ton of work, but it takes a lot of good players, a lot of buy-in. it takes a staff, it takes a management, it takes an owner. And to put us in this position with the belief that, hey, you know what, you're going to make the, uh, you know, you can make the playoffs every year, but you're not going to win every year. We understand that. But when we get a chance to take a swing for the fence, we are going to do it. And everybody's done that. And to be honest, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm not going to sit here and tell you after 2019, we were having a ton of fun after winning 62 games, but uh, we kept the band together. Everybody kept faith in each other. And, you know, now we're going for three. And that's just to say that out loud and to hear somebody else say it is, it's kind of crazy, but uh, you don't get these chances often. They don't come around often. And, you know, that's a big motivation for us is, uh, hey, like we've had some heartbreak and now we've had, we, we've seen the top of the mountain, but let's seize this and keep uh, keep going for more. So I talked to Victor Hedman recently. We've got the Florida Panthers on ESPN Plus tonight. And Hedman said that when you guys play the Panthers, it's mayhem. And he said that this rivalry, in his opinion, is really important for the growth of hockey in Florida. What's your take on this uh, new spicy rivalry that you guys have with the Panthers? <laughs> well, he couldn't be more right. Uh, you know, the great thing about the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers is at any moment – the, a, a phenomenal hockey game with the, some of the most creative, greatest players in the world is going to break out or a brawl is going to break out. And I think it touches <laughs> a whole bunch of bases. And, uh, you know, if I haven't heard it a thousand times about, you know, how hard it is to win, but there's a lot of people have said, you know, that series we had with Florida last year in the first round was, you know, one of the best they've seen in years. And uh, just by being a part of it, you're, you know, so concentrated on just winning the games, you don't get to sit back and think about it. But boy, was it one hell of a series, and they're uh, they're a phenomenal team. Speaking of series, stadium series this Saturday, Nissan Stadium, Nashville Predators, Tampa Bay Lightning. You are not in Nashville quite yet, but just tell me, like the week leading up or the days leading up to a special event like this, how does it differ from any other NHL regular season game? Well. It it's been weird because, you know, we were supposed to be in the Olympics and have this big long break and then come back and we've had kind of these mini breaks. So there hasn't been a ton of focus on it, but as soon, like on our end, there has been for the players, not so much, but now, you know, everybody's, you know, we're trying to circle the wagons. We've got families and kids and parents and friends and all these people coming. And you know what, to be honest, the fact that we've been a part of two Stanley cups, I know one was in a bubble is really helping us. Uh, in these situations because there's as many distractions for this game and, and media attention as, as there is for the Stanley Cup. And if you haven't gone through that, it's a whole different beast. And so I think that kind of, you know, hopefully works in our favor a little bit. Uh, but an exciting time. I've never been to, you know, been a part of an outdoor game. I went to the uh, Michigan-Michigan State game way back when, um, and it was a phenomenal event. Like, it was crazy, and it was really, really cold. Hopefully it's not going to be that cold that's cold in Nashville. But so excited, and we're, what a better place to, to have an outdoor game than Nashville, Tennessee. It's uh, uh, Boys are really excited. 
was going to ask you, Coop, you, you, this is the first outdoor game for you, first outdoor game for the franchise. Have you reached out to anybody in the coaching fraternity to figure out how to go about coaching a game in a stadium like this? Actually, you know what? I, I probably should have, so you've called me out on that. Thanks. Uh, but no, <laughs> I haven't. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a distraction thing. And, and for me, you know, being outdoors um, is, you know, from what I've heard and, you know, we've had you know, some players that have, have played in them, you know, as long as the players can hear you. And I guess in a, when in stadiums like this, it's actually easier to hear because the fans aren't quite as, as on top of you. You know, my big thing is, you know, is there uh, like, you know, the temperature and the, and the ice and that's, and because ice does, ice like the quality of the ice will change the way not change the way you play but you have to simplify your game if the ice isn't great so that'll be something we'll have to keep our eye on but uh, no i'm just looking to absorb this and have fun and to be honest have my family around because in a lot of instances in the last two years that hasn't been possible and really excited for that last question for you coach coop uh in the quest for the cup uh documentary series we always see you smoking a cigar with the stanley cup now, we have a colleague, Barry Melrose. He's a big cigar guy, smokes one a day. Uh, his cigar of choice is the La Flor Dominicana. He's an LFD guy. Do you have a cigar of choice, and what is it? Well, Greg will attest to this because he's, um, he's been known to have a stick uh, now and again. <laughs> but my palate probably isn't as refined as, uh, as Barry's. But I, if you give me a nice mild Dave and off, David off, like give me a Toro or Grand, like Grand Toro. I don't know, Grand Crew. Like, there's a couple in there. I like, I like the mild ones though. Like, give me a Connecticut wrapper, give me a Robusto size, and just let me sit down and relax. But I really enjoyed some of those David offs I smoked. So you heard it here first, folks. Uh, John Cooper Garcia Vega pre-drill uh, drilled hole in the back from Seven Eleven. His smoker choice. <laughs> Oh, man. A, just give me a beer and a bar stool and a, and a cheap cigar, and I'm good. Predators host the Tampa Bay Lightning Saturday, February 26th, Nissan Stadium. Listen, uh, Coach, there's so many more questions to ask you. We're going to have to bring you back on. But maybe it'll be like just a, around the table smoking some cigars, asking some questions next time. Hey, if I get to smoke another cigar with the Stanley Cup right beside me, it's that it's been a hell of a year, and it's – uh an exciting couple year run and I appreciate you guys and all the work you're doing and, and the coverage has been outstanding and uh, just keep her going. Thanks coach. Thanks for being here. Thanks Coop. My pleasure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.